systems now and talk a little bit more about what's going on. So what I would like us to see, what I'd like us to focus on, and what I'd like us to use as an analytical tool for talking about these kinds of information systems is the idea of an electronic, communi an electronic conversation. Um, when you facilitate, when you create on your system an electronic conversation, either between you and them, or between them and them, or between you and other yous, whatever, whoever you're creating that conversation with, um, then you're in the social sphere because that's what socialness is all about. I mean, think about it. Isn't that really what socialness is all about? It's about conversations. It's about people interrelating. I mean, I guess you could make the argument that, you know, if you were mute and everybody else was mute, we'd still be social people. We'd still, you know, maybe use touch or something like that to communicate, but we'd actually still be communicating. We'd be passing meaning from one of us to the other. And so for all intents and purposes, socia so socialness really is about communication. It's about passing information from person to person, and in that way, forming bonds, forming connections, forming feelings of solidarity and trust, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so social apps, social applications, social systems, they support these electronic conversations. Information fits into there because information is what's exchanged. When you type a status message into Facebook, you're exchanging information. You're, you're putting information and you're giving that information to all the people who are listening to you. So information is how it's exchanged, these social applications, social media, social networking apps, whatever we want to call them, that's the medium, that's the channel, that's the way it's exchanged. So what we're going to focus on is the communication. So let's look at communication. What happens in a conversation? Well, I give you these four basic ideas. In a conversation, somebody speaks. If no one's speaking, and I mean speaking metaphorically when I post a video or when I change my status message or whatever, I'm going to call that speaking. I'm producing information. I'm creating new information and putting it out. Right? So there's always someone speaking. And if there's no one speaking, there's no conversation. There's someone listening. Um, if I speak, like right now, <laughs> basically I'm speaking and no one can hear me. Right? I'm, I'm hoping that someday you watch this video and you can hear me, but no one's hearing me right now. And if I don't ever, if I don't ever um, produce this video and it never sees the light of day, then this was not a conversation. This was me. Well, I suppose you could, you could say it's me talking to myself. And if I'm talking to myself, am I having a conversation? I guess maybe only if I'm listening to myself. Right? So at any rate, you get the idea. If there's, there's always going to be somebody speaking, and in order for us to call it a conversation, there has to be somebody listening as well. Now, in addition to listening, that person could be responding. I'm going to assume that as you listen to this video, you're not talking back to it. If you are, then you're responding. You may actually be talking back to it in your head, and I think that kind of counts as responding as well. So if you think, if you think that way, then you might be able to say, well, you know, you can't really listen without mentally responding. And so if you're mentally responding, if you're mentally responding, there's always a responder. But let's keep it much simpler than that. Let's say there's always a speaker. There is always a listener, otherwise it's not a conversation, and that listener may choose to respond, and we'll call it a response if they verbalize it, if they put it out, if their response is not internal inside their head, but their response is to you, the communicator. But they don't have to respond. They can sit there quietly and listen, as, as most people do in class. They sit there quietly and listen. They're not responding. They're not talking back. But they can. And in a conversation, you can respond. Um, in a conversation, you can also repeat. So I'm, t I'm talking about this right now with you, and then later on in the day, you meet with one of your friends and you start discussing some of the things that you, that you heard me say as well. You're repeating. You're beginning or entering or using the conversation in order to forward on information or a piece of conversation that you heard elsewhere. Okay, so speakers and listeners, mandatory. Responders and repeaters, not so mandatory. But hopefully, that's kind of what we like. That's kind of what we do when we um, create these conversations in social systems.